Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 25th July. The dust from budget is still settling. In my case, there was one moralization today. These are all the SGBs that have been issued till date. Only three of them have matured till now. All these prices have crashed and realigned with the new tax rate. So all the investors, for example, who invested 4662 and who were sitting at 7800, 7900 till about two days back, they are below 7000. That is a loss everyone will incur. Everyone who bought each and every SGB that was bought because the finance minister has not clarified or made any provision of reindexing the purchases made pre duty reduction in the maturity price, which will be average of three days price in the market. So, market will obviously reflect the new prices after the duty cuts. So nearly everyone loses 9 to 10 percent of their money here. This is worse than demon. Think about it. All the rupee notes, 500, 1000, 2000, whatever has happened, all those were backed by RBI. SGB backed by RBI. RBI said don't buy physical gold, buy SGB, it is good for you. Now you lose 10 percent of your AUM in one single move. So RBI is richer by 10% in all SGBs that they have issued but not serviced yet or not repaid yet. This may lead to a crisis in all these SGBs. There will be no buyers probably going forward. The sellers will realize that even if SGB prices are not falling, they will only get the market prices. So total chaos is going to happen in this market in the next two or three weeks. The best thing in my opinion for government is to reindex these and align them with the new tax rates because in any case RBI will pay according to new tax rates only. Now when I was a young kid I used to play a game called SimCity 3000. It had a section to tinker taxes. What I used to do was on 1st of January I used to increase the taxes to the highest possible value. For the entire year the taxes used to be high. Around December people used to start protesting. I used to start getting alerts that people might leave. So then I brought the taxes down to a very low level. But for the entire year, the collection was very high. So the city grew like anything. The people got fooled on 1st January because the tax rate on 1st January were low, 1% kinds. So new people would flock in into the city. The buildings would go up. But again, those were virtual people. You could fool them all the time. It was a computer simulation that took 20 years back without any AI. In real life, when we tinker with taxes, expenses, income, these hit real people. In India, significant people save money in gold. Now, the value or the holding of all those people who had grams, kilograms, tons of gold, that has suddenly gone down 9 to 10%. SGBs also have fallen. This is going to hurt. So yesterday, I was talking about that the rally or the buying may become stock specific, sector specific. This is a new graph I created today. The blue line is market cap. These are the top three sectors. This is oil and gas where Reliance is. This is Softer IT where TCS Infosys are. This is banking, HDFC, ICICI. So look at the skewness part of it. The market cap here is 10%. The market cap here is about 13%. The market cap here is about 12%. The percentage contribution to the day is 1000% on the downside. Here also on the similar size. The sectors here do not matter to the stock market. Look at Reliance, literally went nowhere, minus 0.22%, but look at all other big oil companies. Look at the banks, while HDFC was up, the cuts in ICICI, Access Bank, IRFC. Banks suddenly within 2-3 days are looking jitterish. Many of them are suddenly in the middle of the 52 week high low zone. Now yesterday I saw in the options data that FII DIs were net buyers. Today this is literally a straight line but that started with a gap down. Gift Nifty reflected that. So about 0.7% down to start with but literally all the losses were recovered during the day. Bank Nifty also started gap down but look at the narrow range it was in about 250 to 300 point range. This much bank nifty moves in 5 minutes. Now that does not mean the stocks were not moving. Some stocks are going up like this. Some stocks are going down like this. On an average the balancing act was perfect and the bank nifty did not go anywhere. Stock of the day perhaps was LNT. It was up a lot. I had given positive thumbs up to it. Today it went up. For the year it has gone up 41% but it has literally not gone anywhere in the last few months. 3% up today but I feel there is a lot of legroom still left. 
टुडे आईसीआईसीआई बैंक क्रैक्ट एक्सिस बैंक इज नॉट इन द टॉप टेन बट दैट क्रैक्ट सिग्निफिकेंट कंपनीज वर इन द रेड्स गोल्ड कंटिन्यूड द क्रैकडाउन सिल्वर कंटिन्यूड द क्रैकडाउन ए डी आर आर डाउन Bitcoin. There have been two events. One is the ETF. One second is Kamala Harris joining the presidential race. Since then, Bitcoin has been really volatile. Rupee got weaker. Brent has been cracking. I'll show the graph in the next slide. U.S. markets looked like a crash yesterday. Look at Tesla. Look at Meta. And Indian markets, despite a budget which public did not like, were in a euphoria move. Little up only. The banks did not reflect that because selective banks were down a lot. Nifty IT did not go anywhere. And I just refresh the FII DI data also. FII is net sellers. DI is net buyers. Energy was rocking today. The crude prices have corrected significantly. International markets, all oil companies except Reliance, are dancing with joy. Reliance is perhaps spooked by Jio. The telecom company was not expecting such a backlash, especially people moving to BSNL or threatening to move to BSNL. VIX went up today. Next 50 up a bit. Defense continued the downslide. This was the graph I was saying about crude. This has corrected from about 87, 88 levels to 80 levels. About 10% crack in last week or so. Reliance started at the bottom of the day and then went up and up and up the complete day. Slow moves. Overall, about a percent up for the day from the bottom of the day. Same with TCS, HDFC, similar graph, though it corrected a bit towards the end. ICICI cracked today. It tried a recovery but then fell back again. Patterns were there today as well. Airtel, HUL, Reliance going up, ICICI going down, Reliance going up, ICICI going down, HDFC going up, SBI going down. This is why Bank Nifty was not that volatile. See, HDFC going up, SBI going down, ICICI going down. Between the three heavyweights, this was balanced out. Access Bank during the indecision fell 5%. ICIC at 2%. These are big cuts. IRFC, the budget story is over. Defense stocks, only data patterns were up 10%. Rest, GRSE blocked at lower circuit. See, this is the lower circuit. I tried the pattern which I mentioned yesterday. I sold GRSE at 930s, very small quantity, 20 of them. And I bought it back about one hour later. Very small 1200 rupee profit, but it was just an experiment to see if theory works. So I sold somewhere around here and bought somewhere around here. Now I have Cochin Shipyard also, that too is in deep losses, so I might try the same experiment tomorrow as well. Metals have been volatile, Hindustan Zinc corrected continuously, JSW went up continuously, no patterns emerging, NMDC a V, sale a W, there is no sectoral pattern at all. Overall the entire sector was bleeding nearly 1.7% down, that too all stocks nearly had huge volumes. We are approximately at the 60% line for most stocks. Railway stocks, no one was spared. IT sector was mixed back. Zomato corrected, persistent to corrected today, but it is still in the high zone. The volumes have reduced. People are now sort of losing interest in IT. The main problem is NASDAQ has been crashing like anything. The IT stocks in US are not doing well, leaving Indian public confused where to go. The Adani pack was slightly positive, especially Adani Green. Overall, the power producers were up 1%. I think this is primarily because of the reduction in oil prices. That was up a lot. Most stocks had ultra high volumes. The fear score lowered a bit. It is at 71% right now. The sectors which were up actually reduced from 21 to 19. However, the heavyweights, oil and gas was up. Banking was down, but, but not that much. Also, software which is the third heaviest, is in the higher category. So absolute count does not matter. Overall size distribution of market cap was here. Tata Motors went up like anything 6% today. That kept the sector up 1.5%. Beverages, the sector was rocking today. Varun Beverages up another 2.5%. The alcohol stocks were up like anything as well. United Spirits, United Breweries, Construction and Engineering. LNT was up finally 3% today. Cement pack reflects the sentiment in the construction sector. It was down today. Food and tobacco was red. ITC down, Nestle down. A big company like Nestle, 2,50,000 crores. That is at 50% mark suddenly. This is looking tempting. It is already there in the long-term portfolio. Maybe time to add more. The home building sector corrected and corrected a lot. 1% down. This may mean that the housing companies were doing bad as well. Let's check later. Insurance, the euphoria continued. Investment banking, BSC was up 2.25% today also. Motel Oswal up. Siemens, ABB, Hevels, BHEL. 
CG power all of them up. This is a very important sector for the economy, up 1%. Yep, real estate, everyone down. The sector was down 0.77%. Telecom down. Now, if the prices have to be reverted back, then Airtel and Reliance will correct like anything. Same with Vodafone also. Divi's lab, topper on greed again. Followed by HDFC Live, JSW Steel, LNT moved up a little today. It was somewhere around here yesterday. Nestle, Britannia, Tata Steel, all of them are here. Why? Because PG is high. The PE is not justified by the growth which they have shown of late. Fear was reflected in Axis Bank, ICICI, State Bank of India, Tata Consumer Products, Indusind, Bajaj Auto. Look at the PEGs here. Now, PEG is not the only factor. There are about four factors. What was up most on Next 50? Adani Energy, Indian Oil, United Spirits, Jindal Steel, Torrent Pharma, Zomato, Chola Mandalam were pulling Next 50 down. 21 stocks down, 29 up. Public sector banks continued to bleed. Only PNB was up. How did my day look today? I bought certain credit that is only for trading. I already have a decent quantity. So tomorrow if it is up 8 to 10 rupees, I expect that to happen tomorrow or Monday. I will sell it off. Ujjivan, while I did not read the results completely, but I tested the stock after the results for one hour. It was not cracking. The results look okay. I'm going to create a video which will cover Ujjivan, Indescent and IDFC First Bank. So I'll cover the results there. Hindustan Copper for averaging, I bought a little. I expect this stock to go up, especially Tata Motors also up today. So let's see how this theory goes. But it is getting time to lighten a bit slight misplacement this should have been here this should have been here today was a green day in options so overall a profitable day this was the position which was open yesterday in loss of 5000 since nifty opened 0.7 percent down this immediately became profitable and i sold it off immediately then I tried some small trades, but they were mostly long trades. LNT, I found the results good. So very first thing in the morning, I took some long positions. I booked profit into it, but then I had put a low price. Let me show you the order history. So at 2.9, I sold at 124 and I just put randomly an order of 6 rupee below. And around 3 o'clock, this got executed. I got the stock at 118 but it is at 122. So it was a V-shape recovery literally for LNT at this time. So overall the day was good, but I was disappointed with the fine print on SGB. Personally, I have significant amount of my portfolio in gold and losing 10% of the value does break your heart. Even the value of ornaments has gone down if you have them in your home. If you try to sell them today, you'll get 10% less approximately. Let's just add it to the complete list of things that have impacted you in a negative way. Let's move on and try and earn make money. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.